All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Marvel Legendary playthrough. Today we're going to do our second of of two. Um, oh yeah, Doctor Strange playthroughs. Had a little bit of a brain fog there. Um, we're zoomed back in a little bit today. That's because I don't think there's any astral plane, so we should be good to go. And before we kind of get started, I said this in the unboxing, but this artwork, bro. Look, I even have it as the back of my phone. This artwork is killer. This is my... F I don't know what it is, but this Dormammu card, it's sick, dude. I love this so much. So Dormammu, um, he always leads Lords of the Netherworld, which is who we're using today. His mass track is each player makes a demonic bargain with Dormammu to discard down to four cards. So we're going to discard top card of our deck, and we're going to discard down to four cards. And if the top card of our deck's greater than is will cost one or more, we're taking a wound. Um, so, yeah. Yes. Okay, sorry. Then, the scheme is going to be claims, souls, for demons, a bunch more demonic bargains. So, eight twists. There's actually eight this time. Each player makes a demonic bargain to rescue a bystander. This is for one through three. If that demonic bark, if that bargain wounds that pl uh, player, stack that bystander next to the scheme as a tormented soul. Fourth raid, each player makes a demonic bargain to gain a shield officer. If that bargain wounds that player, uh, stack the officer next to the scheme as a tormented soul instead. And then when the number of tormented souls is four times the number of players. So we're going to have to make sure we can not get that. So I'm kind of scared. <laughs> but it, it is what it is. Um, we're using, obviously, another Lords of Another World. We're using Cytoplasm Spikes, which, in retrospect, might have been a poor idea. Although, it could work out either way. And then the heroes we're using are Doctor Strange again, and then Vishanti and uh, Clea. Um, I mentioned earlier, before we kind of really jump into it, of redoing uh, legendary MCU playthroughs as we get more sets. And so we could do a Doctor Strange redo of Doctor Strange 1, because I used Mephisto instead of Dormammu. Uh, that would, but we have Dormammu well now, so we could do it. Um, I wanted to use that to segue into, I'm not going to be doing, we have Moon Knight coming up later this month. I will not be doing the Moon Knight playthrough the week of the ending of Moon Knight. I'm going to wait about a month. Um, with the Disney Plus stuff, it's a little easier because we stream it and we're all home, but I know some people still don't like going out for movies and stuff, so we're going to wait a month, let everybody see everything, and then we'll do the MCU playthrough. So, with Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness, we will end up doing that playthrough at the end, about the first week of June. Actually, Moon Knight and Multiverse of Madness will be roughly, they'll be a week apart when we do the Moon Knight playthrough and the Multiverse of Madness playthrough. But just want to give you guys a forewarning, let you guys catch up on stuff, make sure no spoilers are there, everything's out in the, e in the world into the ether, we can kind of talk about it freely, and uh, then we'll get into stuff there. I Honestly... Part of it's that, and then, like, I know that some people say, well, I don't want to watch this, so I've, I've watched the thing, and then I have to go back to it. And I always find it, like, annoying to have to go back. It's like, I got to go search back. I got to go type this person's name in. It's not that big a deal, but I understand it from a perspective of a viewer. It's kind of annoying to have to go back and find the one. Do I even care about it after this? Not whatever, whatever. So we'll just wait. It's not a big deal. So anyway, let's just kind of hop into it here. First hand is three. Ooh, man. Huh. Scheme twist. We're going to make our demonic bargain. So we're going to discard the top card here. And we successfully do it. And we're going to rescue the bystander. We have two and four. Ooh, ooh. Let's go ahead and get a sidekick. We've got hairball. Oh my gosh. This stack is a problem. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's get these bargains out of the way. I just need five of them. Okay. Master Strike. So we're going to make a demonic bargain to discard down to four. So I'm going to take a wound. And then we're going to discard down to four, which are going to be those. All right. And we got to play another card from the villain deck. It's going to be Umar. So she's got an effect ambush. Choose a player to make a demonic bargain with Umar to KO a card from the HQ. So I got a discard top card of my deck. To KO a card from the HQ. We're going to KO Wanda. No, well, yeah, we'll KO that. 
She has a flight effect. Choose a player to make a demonic bargain with Umar to gain a hero of their choice that costs six or less from the KO pile. Ooh, I should have KO'd something else. That's okay. And then escape is the same, but a zero cost card. So, all right. Four. Let's see it. Agamotto. This is a Vishanti. It's going to be reveal the top card of your deck. This card, I'll put it back. If I play a blue hero, I can choose a player to make a demonic bargain to draw two cards at the end of this turn. All right. Let's see. We've got there. Okay. This light is hot. I'm sorry about that. That card is just not going to be seen. Trying something with those lights, but it really didn't work that well. Okay, there we go. All right. We've got Baron Mordo. He's just got a little fight effect here, so I'm not going to worry about him for the moment. Four and two. Let's grab... Prepare Dark Magic. We're going to take advantage of this as much as we can. Draw a card, then put a card from your hand on top of your deck. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got a Master Strike here, so we're going to uh, do the Demonic Bargain. I don't take the Wound to discard down to four. I can't fight anything, but we're still going to discard these two. Play another card from the Villain deck. It's going to be the Mindless Ones, Ambush. Mindless Ones captures the rightmost here that costs four or less. So it's going to be Zagamoto. Boom. Right most hero, yes, right hand. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do this to reveal the top card of my deck. I'm gonna disc I'm gonna put it back. And I've got three and two. Let's get to Wanda Watum. Sorry about that. New sleeves. So they're slippery slidery. Wanda Watum here. Uh, if you drew a card, you can discard Wanda Watum to get plus three attack. Alright. I don't know what the deal is here. There we go. Maybe I need matte sleeves. The idea of re-sleeving this entire game makes me want to be sick. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do Demonic Bargain here. Please don't be... Oh, yes! Okay, the Rescue Bystander. Whew. Sometimes you sweat. That was one of those times. I was really afraid. Okay. So first off, we'll do this. We'll draw a card. This will go to the bottom of the side st kick stack. We'll get our uh, one there. There's one attack. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna draw a card and then put a card back on top of my deck. So there's six, two here. Ooh. Let's go ahead and take out Baron Mordo. So his fight effect says, Choose a player to make a demonic bargain with Baron Mordo draw, to draw two cards at the end of this turn. I'm going to be that player because there's nobody else. I'll discard this so I won't take the wound. Um, and then I've got two recruit here. We'll get Throg. All right. So we'll get our two extra cards and then our hand, which will be everything. Okay, cool. All right. We've got a scheme twist here. Um, again, we're going to demonic bargain. Whew. Come on. And this is the last one for the bystanders. After this, it's going to be shield officers, which will go back into our deck, which will make things harder. Okay. Uh, boom. Oh, no. I take the wound. Oh, no. Oh, no I take the wound. And this is going to be stacked next to the scheme. Is this the card that I just dropped? Oh, that's the scheme twist. I know the scheme twist is coming up next. All right. That's stacked next to the scheme. But that is okay. Where are all my uh, Vishanti cards? Oh, I guess there's, they're here. I don't, I'm confused. All right. So we'll play this. Um, we'll, this will come out. Then we'll play this. We're going to reveal top card of our deck. We're going to put it, this card or put it back. And then it says choose a way to make a demonic bargain to draw two cards at the end of this turn. I will be that card because I played a blue hero. So this gets discarded. I get to draw two extra cards. So we have three attack here and we have four recruit. 
Can't fight anything, unfortunately, but I do have four recruit. So let's get Demonic Descendant. Uh, two recruit, if I make a Demonic Bargain, uh, I can do it, get two more recruit. All right, there's my two extra cards, and there's five, and then I gotta get one more. I'll tell you what, this is making me kind of nervous. Okay. Scheme twist. We're going to make a demonic bargain here. Okay. Oh, okay. So I get, I get the shield officer because we're at four now, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. Cool. So I got to basically survive one more of those and then we're good for the rest of the game, basically. Okie dokie. We have one, two, three... Four, five, six. Gets me two attack with Throg. So there's my two attack here, and then I get my two recruit, because I'm going to put this on the bottom so I remember it. Because so I made six recruit this turn. So there's uh, five attack, and there's six recruit. We'll take out the mindless ones. Uh, choose a player to make a demonic bargain with uh, to gain this hero. So we're going to get the demonic bargain. We'll turn and take the wound. And then we're going to gain this uh, hero here. And then I've got six recruit. We'll get... Uh, Bind the Dark Dimension. Uh, if I play a blue hero, I can choose a uh, player to make a demonic bargain and KO up to one hero, one of their heroes from, of their choice from a hand or discard pile. So you can't actually get rid of the wounds, but you can get rid of shield cards, which I don't know how great the option that is at the moment, but that's okay. It's three attack. That's mainly why I got it. Now, I'm going to be really interested to see, especially like Clea, because she's all demonic bargains. Like how good it's going to be to play with like Hulk or Iceman. Not Iceman. Um, Human Torch. Like stuff that gets wounds and then like you can KO them. Or like Deadpool. Like they'll, I think they'll be a lot of fun to try to blend with. Oh, right, we got a Cytoplasm Spikes. Okay, we'll play this to draw a card. And then put something on uh, back on top of our deck. I'm going to kill the Cytoplasm Spikes to feast. Feast, it didn't feast on a non great hero, so I guess it gets KO'd. And then I've got three recruit. That I'm actually going to get a sidekick with. So it's going to be uh, Rusty Collins. Investigate your. This is one of the new ones from Messiah Complex. Investigate your deck for a card that costs zero, KO it, or discard it. So that'll actually be good to kind of get rid of some of these wounds, too. That kind of worked out. I forgot I could have throw I keep saying throw. I could have used to artifact there because I drew a card. Alright, we're gonna have to get some attack here to kind of deal with Dormammu. Because he's eleven. So this is challenging because I don't want to get too many higher cars cards. Okay, we're gonna mass strike here. We're gonna do this. So I'm gonna gain the wound. And then we're gonna discard down to four. So unfortunately, it's going to be this and this. Baron Mordo. All right, we'll do this. Reveal the top card of our deck. I'm going to, I guess, discard it. Three attack, two recruit. Get a sidekick. Zabu. Okay. Master Strike. We're going to do this. I, I avoid that, but we still have to discard down. So, let's discard this and this. Bystander. Mordo's going to get the bystander. Okay, so, well, first off, we will play this. We'll look at the top card of our deck. We're going to put it back. I'm going to do this. I'm going to choose a player to make a demonic bargain. So with me to KO a card from my hand discard pile. So I'm going to discard this, then KO this. So there's five. We're going to take out Baron Mordo here. We're going to do his effect to do a demonic bargain. So I can discard that. Um, to I'll take the wound, but I get to draw two extra cards. And then I've got four recruit here to get uh, Keeper of the Sanctum. So if you control an artifact, draw a card. And then I'll end the turn. We'll get our two extra cards first. Then we'll get those. And 
I'm not sure how we're going to win this one. I don't know how many wounds I have. Maybe I should get like a prize for getting like 10 wounds or something. Okay. We have mindless one, so he's going to capture this one. Um, I'll play this. I have an artifact, so I'll get to draw a card. And then I will redeem this, basically. I'll use that for three, so I have five. Six, seven. We're going to look at this. I'm going to discard it. Um, eight, nine, ten. And three recruit will take out Umar. Uh, choose a player to make a demonic bargain to gain a hero that costs six or less from a KO pile. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the wound. And I'm going to get a uh, wand of Watum from the KO pile. And then I've got three recruit that I am not going to do anything with at all. This is actually the best time to not recruit something because I don't want all these... Uh, if I'm going to make another bargain here, I really don't want to deal with... Deal with that. Okay. Discard this so we don't have to take another wound, thank goodness. And then we got a discard down to four, so those are gone. Scheme twist. Uh, we'll do a demonic bargain. Oh, we're going to take a wound. And then this is going to go next to there. Man. All right. We'll do, we'll do this card to reveal top card here. I'm going to discard it. And then we have four recruit here. I'll grab another one of these Wanda with tombs. And we're going to end the turn. I have one, two, three, four, five, six wounds. I have six wounds. Holy cow. I'm going to, I actually am going to zoom out a bit. I think just kind of see everything a little bit better. I have six wounds. I don't think we're making out of this one. This one is really, really rough. Like I said, I should I need like Hulk or Iceman or something to just like KO the wounds. Okay. Scheme twist. We're going to do this. Okay. Whew. We're gonna gain that shield card. Oh, wrong one. We're gonna gain that shield card. Alright. Alright, not bad. First off, we'll do this. Then we'll do this. Uh, I'm gonna choose a player to make a, a demonic bargain, so me. To discard this and the KO card from my discard pile, so that's gone. I got lucky. Whew. Um, got four attack here. We'll take out uh, m mindless ones. We'll do the demonic bargain. So I'll take the wound to gain this hero. And then I've got four recruit, three recruit that I'm not going to get anything with. We're going to end the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got uh, Satana Hellstrom. She's chilling. Oh, man. I'm going to play this to draw a card and then put something back on top of my deck. We're going to put this back on top. And then I'm just going to end the turn. We'll KO those. All right, Master Strike. Wait a minute. That's six Master Strikes. I actually only have five. That's what happens when I uh, throw in stuff I shouldn't, so ignore that. Scheme Twist. What scheme twin number is this? Okay, that's so we're gonna discard. Oh, tormented soul, wrong one again. That's gonna go there. We're gonna take a wound, and then I gotta put something on the bottom. Okay, so the next one game's over unless we can do something about it. Okay, I have an extra card somehow. Why do I have an extra card? I think I shouldn't have this one. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I'm completely losing it. Okay, so we're going to play this. That's going to come out. We're going to do this to KO a card from here in our discard pile. So the wound is going to be gone. We're going to play this to investigate uh, for a card that costs zero. KO it or discard it. So we're going to KO that. Put this back. This is also going to go to the bottom. And then I'm going to end my turn and get rid of that one. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We've got another cytoplasm spikes. We're going to play this again. We'll play this. We'll reveal the top card of our deck. 
And the cost zero, I'm putting it back and we're going to demonic bargain for the two extra cards. So we'll look at the top card here. I'm going to put it back and then we're going to demonic bargain. Um, and then we'll get to draw two extra cards. And I've got three recruit here and I've got three attack. Uh, let's go ahead and take out the cytoplasm spikes and we'll feast. And the feast on a non-gray hero so we get two more recruits. We have five recruit actually. Uh, so we'll get prepare the dark magic again. And we'll end the turn. So then we'll get to draw our two extra cards. So there's five, six, seven, and eight. So there's cytoplasm spikes. Okay, can we do something here? So we're going to play this. If I just draw a card, I can discard all of them to get 12 attack. Uh, we'll play this. We're we'll top card here. It's this, so we're in a demonic bargain. So we'll get to draw two extra cards again. So there's two, three. Let's kill the cytoplasm spikes again. We'll feast. Feast on that. So that's done with. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll get another Keeper of the Sanctum. And I'll get another one of these Prepare uh, the Dark the prepare the dark Magic. Okay, so let's get our two cards here. Okay. Okay, another Satana here. We got to get at least one tactic off. Okay, we're gonna play this and draw a card, and then I'm going to discard three of these to get nine attack. So there's my 11. 12, 13, we're gonna draw a card and put something back. 14, 15, same thing. 16, 17, I'm gonna put it back in Demonic Bargain, so I'm gonna draw two. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20. I am going to do this one. 21, 22, 23. So we're going to hit Dormammu once. So the first tactic here is going to be each of the player makes a demonic bargain with Dormammu to gain a zero cost hero from the HQ. So we're going to discard this to gain the wound and we're going to get a zero card back. Use the rest of my attack to take out another tactic of his, which is going to be each of the player makes a demonic bargain with Dormammu to KO a non gray hero from the KO pile. So we're going to discard this. Uh, to KO a non-gray hero from their discard pile. And then I guess this will get KO'd. But I won't have to take the wound. And then we've got two recruits that I'm doing nothing with. So we're going to end the turn. We'll get our two extra at the end of this turn. And there's our six. Okay. You know what? If we lose, it's not that bad. Scheme twist. All right. This is the moment of truth. Oh, okay. We avoid that. So, uh, again, man, I'm tripping. All right, here we go. Okay, good. There is a chance after all. First off, we're going to play this. We're going to draw a card. We're going to put something back on top of our decks. We're going to do this and discard this to get our two extras. So there's four, five, attack. Let's take out Satana, Satana here. So it says, choose a player to make a demonic bargain. Hellstrom. Actually, hold on. Let's, let's wait to do that for a second. Let's wait to do that for a second. I've got two, four, five, six, seven. Let's get um, Hoggeth. Uh, you get plus two. You, if you make a demonic bargain, you get plus two attack. So we're going to get that. We're going to get a sidekick. Then I'm going to kill uh, this. And we're going to do the demonic bargain here. So I'll get my three bystanders, but it's just going to matter if I get a wound or not. And obviously I did this because I'm reshuffling my deck. So if we can manage to get 22 attack next turn, we'll win. I know it's light unlikely. All right, so we're going to demonic bargain. So we're going to take a wound, but we do get three bystanders. So one, two, which is going to be sunspot. He's going to become a hero. So he's two plus attack. If I play a green hero, I get plus one. And then three, plain bystander. Then we'll end the turn. We'll get our two extra cards. There's our six, seven, and eight. Okay. 
All right, we've got Satana, Satanish. Ambush, choose a player to make a bond bargain with Satanish to reveal the top card of the hero deck and gain it if it costs four or less. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the wound, and then we're going to reveal the top card of the hero deck, and it does cost four or less, so I'm going to gain that. All right. First and foremost, we're going to draw two. One and two. There's not a whole lot we can do here. We're going to play this to draw a card and then put a card back. Really doesn't matter. Yeah, put that back. We'll do this to do the demonic bargain. Doesn't matter. So two, four, five, six, seven, attack and two recruit. Let's take out this for five to do the demonic bargain. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna take the wound, but we'll rescue three bystanders. One. Uh, when you rescued this bystander, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Draw each that has a, at least 10 rules of words text. Oh, this is too many. There, That one does, and this one does. So we're going to get these two, and then put the rest in the back in, in any order. So this has at least 10 words of rules text, I would say, and this one does too. So we're going to get those two. Uh, we're going to get two more bystanders. We're going to shield officer. And this is Mirage, we'll get as a hero. I mean, I could play this, draw this card, and put something back, but it's not enough to do anything. So, and then the villain decks run out, so it's a draw. So actually, that ended up being a better than I thought it was going to be, but man, like, this was rough. I needed these. And I'm wondering, so I'm reading this, and it says, you may choose a player to make a demonic bargain to draw two cards at the end of this turn. So I'm guessing that still should be uh, ourselves. Um, but yeah, man, all these wounds. Wounds, wounds, wounds. This was very, very difficult. But Dormammu was very fun. And um, I would like to try a demonic bargain thing with one of the heroes that deals with wounds really well. I think that would be an interesting combo. So that may be coming up. But uh, that's going to be it. For the Dr. Stream set, we got one win and one draw. So no losses. That's pretty good. But um, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I don't know. If I haven't done it already, there should be a legendary Buffy video coming out at some point. So be on the lookout for that. I'm probably put it in between this. So be on the lookout for something else entirely. How about that? Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.